guys, it's boy LCG HD. Today, what I'm doing is, uh, I have to be a bit quieter because it's night and people are trying to sleep. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just found this old phone I used to record with when I first started YouTube. My sister's snap finding the Snapchat on there. Yeah. Might make a video on that soon. So anyway, I'm ranking the Fast and Furious movies. Yeah. From this talk, you'll hear them speak. It's only Monday. Negotiations breaking down. See those leaders start to frown. Sword and gun. So in eighth place is Tokyo Drift because uh, it was actually the last one I seen, and I felt like it didn't really fit. Like Halloween three. Like if you see my Halloween ranking. Like, uh, I just felt like it didn't really fit in with the rest of them. And, uh, because, like, it's all, like, Asian people and that, not being rude, but, like, they didn't, apart from Han, 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 like, he, he was the only, like, he was the only one I knew out of all these people. But then when Fast and Furious 6 came out, like, at the end, when I saw Jason Statham, I was like, Oh, now it makes sense. And I knew, and then I watched Fast and Furious Seven. And that's Fast and Furious Six is what made, got me into the franchise and that. But anyway, number three, yeah, not so really. So I don't really have much to say about part three. Right, I don't know why Fast and Furious 4 is here. Uh, basically because uh, it was quite boring. I liked it how uh, Dom and Brian like seen each other after all those years and stuff. And it was good. It's an alright film. I just had to put it here because the next film is only a little bit better than it. So. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Sixth place is uh, Fast and Furious 2, Too Fast, Too Furious, uh, because uh, Vin Diesel wasn't in it, and I thought it was just going to start off a whole new thing, and I, I didn't really see the point in the film at first, I didn't like it, but now I get it, it got Roman, played by Tyrese Gibson, and uh, Tedge, played by Ludacris, so uh, thank you, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> yeah. Fifth place is uh, the original, it's the movie that gave us all of it. So uh, we uh, can't really diss that film, can we? Plus, it's alright. Like, it's a good film. completely good. I like the scene where uh, uh, Brian find, Don finds out that Brian's a cop. That's good. Third place. It's really hard to decide. Why I like more, but I have to put Fast Five here because what's in third place, it's only a little bit better. They turned Fast and Furious into a heist film. This was my favorite film when when this one came out. Because when this one came out, I watched. This is the other scene. Then I seen one. No, I seen two. One, four, five, and then three. And like there was only five at the time, as this one was my favorite. And then uh, like the others came out six, seven, and eight. Grow, and we go right on forever. Yeah. Wait, ride out together. Right out. Casey, when I drive six cars.
cars in the driveway, cash in the driver door, spin it, do it my way. Shit like a matador, fresh out the catalog. So Fast and Furious 7 is in for a place. It's a bit unrealistic. I like Jason Statham and all that. It's a good film. The um, plane sequence is a good, like, the cars of the plane. I like the ends of the hitting each other. Gorillas hitting each other with sticks. <laughs> if you get that joke. And, uh, and I like, uh, the, um, like, I, I just really like, um, how they, um, like, got, uh, no, I mean, I didn't like, how they distanced the rock away from the film a bit, that's what I didn't really like. I fear death or dying, I only fear never trying, I am whatever I am, only God can judge me now. Second place, this is so hard because this one was my favourite before a certain one came out. Right? And uh, anyway, uh, num Fast and Furious 6, it brings the team together, puts Letty on the bad side, but then she comes good again. This uh, leads up to number like 6, 7, and 8 are like a perfect trilogy together. It's amazing. I love these three films. It's just amazing, right? <laughs> Able to fit them, go ahead and raise a cup up for all my day ones. Do me do fingers for the haters. Let's only get in greater. Stay up from nothing we go. Fast and Fierce 8, the newest one. I've seen it once in the cinema, twice on the film website. Every time I rewatch, I like it more. It's funny. Good action scenes. Jason Statham's good now. That's good. So we get to see more of him. Yeah. So that's it. That's my ranking Fast and Furious movies. Also, Golden X. I'm so happy about this. I got Golden X back together. I knew I'd do it. Um, get ready for some loads of stuff on the Golden X channel. The oh, Golden X channel will be in the description. There will be a link to the channel in the description. See you guys in a bit. Peace.